can see from the first part of the video, Christmas come early. Let me show you what we got. But before, I'm going to do some shout outs to people that have subscribed to the channel, a bunch of people that have been sharing, and uh, tell you I appreciate it. Sulphur City Designs, thanks for uh, sending that up to uh, Doc Sprocket, Sulphur City Designs man. I really appreciate that. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Sulphur City Designs guys. They do custom decals, t-shirts, uh, hoodies, uh, magnetic signs, uh, metal signs. Uh, they do really good work. There's a link on my, uh, my, my main page on YouTube. Really good work. Southern Off-Road Mowers on Facebook, you know that one. Go to it, post some junk. We love it when you do. You don't have to, though. Austin Beavers on Pinterest. Thanks for finding me and following. Jacob Dorn, thanks for subscribing, man. Mason Rogers, Fritz uh, Frobel, Game Hunter, Les Stapp, Jeffrey Plum. Thanks for subscribing, guys. And also, like I said, I'm on Pinterest as well, so you can look there. Mr. 57 Rec, Scuba Skeeter 1, Paul Brosco, Jason Stuck. Thanks for subscribing, guys. Christopher Smith, thanks for subscribing. These are the people that have been sharing my videos, and I, I know I've missed uh, some people, so I apologize. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one if I did indeed miss you. Jordan Skillen, thanks, Jordan. Preston Golden and Raymond Earl, thanks, guys. Rob's Pack and Shine. Pranks to Man, thanks, guys. Mac One Ford, O2 Warrior, Chevy 6299. Novi Daily, Mike Marin. Thanks for all those shares, guys. I really appreciate it. Now, show you what hey sound called. These are the parts for the Murray Gator. They have finally started coming in. Um, I'm getting everything from Tractor Supply. Yes, I could probably get it cheaper, uh, parting it out, getting it all from different places. But um, uh, the people at Tractor Supply have been really helpful uh, as far as. Uh, uh, showing me letting me uh, take some stuff out of the store and fit it up and then bring it back and uh, So they've been really kind we are using Chain number 50 as well as sprocket number 50. That's all gonna be heavy-duty uh, Because I don't have to do this more than once so it's gonna be really stout. Let me get it out and I'll okay, show guys, you this is the like chain it. number 50 roller chain and you can see that it's about a half inch wide so this should be pretty stout and uh, how about that it even comes with a unilink uh, when you get it from tractor supply this was 30 bucks i want to say so a bunch of chain not a bad price and it's 10 feet uh, for 30 bucks and that includes one of the unilinks these are the sprockets we're going to use these are I don't know if you can see 50 by 24 it's a uh, size 50 or 50 pitch 24 teeth these are the hubs if I can get them to fit there we go so these are all going to be beefy and overbuilt. Thank you, Doc Sprocket, for your suggestion as to uh, building it uh, a lot stronger and a lot beefier. And I'll show you how these guys are going to fit on the 820 that we're putting in the Murray Gator. Okay, guys, that's More the shaft count. of the 820. And this is a one inch shaft. So it's one reason. You have to uh, buy a little bit bigger parts. Okay, this hub's going to fit on here. I'm not going to slide it on all the way because it's on there tight. There we go. And, well, I had it backwards. There we go. And then, of course, that's going to fit on there like that. Now, the problem in doing this, like this, is there's no room for the hub because all of this is uh, taken up by the rim so what I am doing is I'm buying the uh, locker part uh, 
which the shaft is about inch and a half, two inches longer on either side and I'll show you and that's right at an inch and a half on either side and that will accommodate for the spacer um, the locker is $125 something like that solid shaft with uh, uh, the gear set uh, that's made onto it I am thinking of just buying a solid uh, one inch bar uh, with a quarter inch keyway cut all the way up through it and seeing if I can't uh, put it on there and weld it myself uh, that would uh, probably save me about 50 bucks if I can do that I've got to buy another uh, one inch keyway uh, drive shaft as well to go on the back and then I've got to get a couple of more pillar block bearings and I think that is going to be about it so I'll show you in just a second and this is so you would see uh, the front of the uh, Murray Gator up here front tire steering seat motor goes back to a peerless 820 with a chain drive going to a one inch drive shaft this is solid locked this is solid locked it's all with uh, a 50 pitch chain and gears so that's uh, my next big thing um, sand rat I'm through with it finished it up stuck it back in the uh, barn not gonna paint it uh, until the weather warms up a little bit because I'm doing open air work uh, right now and um, got this one finished up did a bunch of little tweaks on it took it out riding yesterday and had a good time enjoyed myself uh, I didn't even film it uh, all the little stuff that had been annoying uh, I, I fixed this would be arcing this was a, a linkage cable and I just sheathed it in rubber uh, to fix it and I went ahead and pinned the uh, battery terminal uh, and the cable this was loose and it would kind of slide and slop around and it was clamped down as far as it would go so I just took a short uh, stainless screw and screwed it into the lead uh, between the uh, the uh, post and the clamp and so now it is solid and stays in for all the bouncing that's what I'm going to do uh, with this one as well from now on on every one of them I'm going to do that just to keep them from bouncing around um, this thing's running great uh, when I get a warm day I'll finish up the uh, uh, plastic wrap on it or the vinyl skin on it and this one's done I'm enjoying riding them and after I finish the Murray Gator I'm not gonna work on them anymore for a while I'm just going to uh, do a bunch of videos of riding them because I'm sick of working now we're back so most everything is bought um, they didn't have another hub and uh, they told me they'd call me when I got it so I went ahead and paid for it so I've gotten all of it and they should have it in the next few days uh, or after after the holiday weekend so we've got all these and believe it or not this was around $100 uh, just just for that stuff but that's about half of what I gotta get still have to get a one inch axle maybe two one inch axles and two pillow block bearings and then we'll be done and we can actually uh, start the build I'm gonna drag the uh, Murray Gator up in here and probably put it up in the back so I can uh, work on it and leave this one so I can ride it and do uh, do some playing as well thanks for watching guys it's gonna be a good build I've been wanting to do that that's what I should have done in the first place but I wanted to see if I could do it with two transmissions and getting them to sync up and it works okay uh, but this is gonna work ten times better and be so much more reliable thanks for watching y'all gonna make some mayhem